skills and the three types of strengthening activities and how to apply it. Now, in this chapter, we will focus on how you will improve or maintain your fitness level through exercise program using Fit Principle. Frequency refers to frequency of exercise undertaken. Means, ilan bes ka ba ni workouts isang linggo? Sa dalawa o tatlo. For the beginners, the recommended number of workouts should at least three times a week. Remember, frequency is a key component of fit principle. It is important to know why you are exercising and what you want to do before rushing into any exercise program. In addition, you need to adjust the number of times you exercise per day, per week, or per month to reflect your fitness level. What is intensity? Intensity refers to the level of difficulty of an exercise or workout as well as the amount of energy used during performance. This principle is extremely important. Why? Because this is the aspect of fit principle. Intensity can be monitored through heart rate. Your pulse, or heart rate, is the number of times your heart beats per minute. Your target heart rate is the range of beats per minute you should aim for during exercise. It's recommended that this is between 50 and 70% of your maximum heart rate. This range is a guide and doesn't change if you have a heart condition, unless you take some types of medication. Don't worry if your heart rate exceeds 70% of your maximum. Exercising within this range can help you increase and maintain your activity level safely. You can measure your heart rate manually by placing two fingers gently on the inside of your wrist, also known as checking your pulse. Or there are wearable devices, such as fitness trackers, that will monitor your heart rate throughout the day. In the gym, some pieces of fitness equipment are also fitted with heart rate trackers. Use our calculator at bhf.org.uk forward slash target heart rate. Time refers to the length of an exercise session. Kung ikaw ay an active at gusto mo na mag-involve sa exercise or workout, so you can start with light to moderate activities that last between 20 to 30 minutes or accumulate 10 minutes bounce for a total of 30 minutes a day. At kung ikaw naman ay habitual exerciser na, you can spend the same amount of time but pursuing moderate to vigorous activities instead. For resistant training, time is spread in terms of repetitions and sets. At panghuli ay type. Ano ito? Ibig sabihin, what mode of exercise are you using? Depende sa iyong fitness goal. Kung gusto mong ma-improve ang iyong cardiovascular and endurance, ito ang mga dapat mong gawin. Like walking, swimming, aerobics, biking, dancing. Or kung gusto mo naman ma-improve ang iyong muscular endurance or muscular strength, ang dapat mong gawin ay mga weights training. Lesson wrap up. Frequency means how often you work. Daily to moderate exercise is ideal, but try to exercise a minimum of 3 to 5 days per week. Intensity, how hard you work. Time, the length of time or duration that you work. Note, any workout na masyado na ikli ang oras ay mabagal o magiging progress ito sa iyong fitness goal. At kapag masyado namang mahaba ang oras sa ilalaan mo, Maari kang magka-injury. Lastly, type. Specific mode of activity to choose. 
When properly applied this principle, it is enables you to push your limits just enough to make progress without harming your body. It also decreases your likelihood of developing conditions like hypertension, obesity, or diabetes.